All right, people, welcome back to some more card reviews. So today, as you can tell by the title, we are looking at a Gladiator Beast. Yes, Gladiator Beast got a new card. Now, I'm not saying I'm an expert on Gladiator Beast. Really, I've only played the deck once. It was on my old series, Daily Duels. It was the deck of the month, one of the decks of the month, and I pretty much played it for a month. Uh, the version I played was more of a card of my variant, but I mean, it's not a very difficult deck. You one up your opponent, out resource them, low monster count, search a lot, and make Gazara pop, 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 pop. I mean, and war chariot to share your opponent. It's not a hard deck. So, Gladiator Beast got a new Gladiator Beast here that we'll be reviewing. Some of the Gladiator Beasts are great, and you definitely know their name, and they're played a lot, and then there's others who are just bottom of the barrel, you don't play them, don't even talk about them, barely know their name. So, is Gladiator Beast noxious here? Is he going to be, yeah, great, or boo, no, throw you in the tin, you're a common, who cares, alright? So, as I said, Gladiator Beast noxious is a dark beast warrior effect monster, level 5, with 0 attack and 1000 defense. So, beast warrior? That means I can search it with bullhorn, but I can't search it with my proving grounds or my tanky, so rip on that. But, I mean, just the fact that it, bullhorn's so powerful, just, you know, uh, I can definitely see people doing a kind of combination of zodiacs with gladiator beast if this guy is really good, because if all you can do is just summon a zoo, bullhorn, detach, get this guy, and then slap on Drancia, that's pretty powerful, so... Uh, let's go ahead and look at his effect and determine whether this guy should be ran or not. So, his effect reads, When an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, Okay, direct attack. You can special summon this card from your hand. And if you do, change that attack to this target and perform damage calculation. Also, this card cannot be destroyed by that battle. Okay, so, my opponent tries to direct attack me. I special summon him. You battle him instead of hitting me directly. And I'm assuming that counts as, you know, me battling. This card can't be destroyed by that battle. And he's going to tag out into something else. Because if that's the case, I mean, that's not bad. That's not bad. If this card is special summoned by a Gladiator Beast monster's effect, including his own, all right, you can send one Gladiator Beast monster from your deck to the graveyard. Okay, okay. So uh, I get my place set up. Now, please, tell, please, for the love of God, tell me that he, he can take out. At the end of the battle phase, if this card battled, you can shuffle this card into the deck, special summon one Gladiator Beast from your deck, except for Gladiator Beast Noxious. This guy is really good. All right, I, for, for a person who's only played Gladiator Beast for months, I said I'm no expert, but I am an expert. This guy's really good. Uh, just the fact that he's pretty much a one-card guy's artist. Think about it, think about it. You try to attack me directly, I special summon him, you battle him. I use the fact he special summoned by Gladiator Beast himself, send Bastari. You attacking him, I tag out, and Darius, Darius, summon back Gazarus, main phase two, guys, I mean, Darius, Darius, summon back Bastari, main phase two, go into Gazarus, pop, pop. So good, so good. Yeah, yeah, I think, I think this guy is going to be one of the Gladiator Beasts, you know, it just sucks that... It has to be a direct attack. If it was just an attack in general, holy crap, but it has to be a direct attack. But just the fact that he's a beast warrior, sucks that he's level 5, because if he was level 4, oh my car, you know, I, shit, triple, there's triple, I mean, we're already going triple uh, Proving Grounds and uh, triple, uh, well, not maybe not triple tanky, I mean, the only beast warrior you have for tanky is Lokari, but Lokari is important for Heraclinos, but the fact still remains is that you can do a little bit of combination of a Gladiator Beast Zoo deck, because this guy can search with Bullhorn, slap on Andrante, deal with that, you, and just know, and just the fact that I pretty much have my butt covered, because if you do something to my field, and you try to go for that direct attack, you know, you know, bring that ass here, boy, because I'm just gonna, you know, battle and tag out. The thing is that you just gotta wait for, to make sure it's that last attack, that last attack, so you can make sure you perform everything. So, uh, the thing is, you might be taking a couple hits on the chin. Your opponent, let's say, if, Hypothetically, your monster, your opponent has five monsters, and they're all attacking you directly. If you do it too early, and you just first attack and you drop this guy, this guy will send the Bastari, and you tag out into the Darius. Who's to say that the other four monsters won't be able to get over the Darius and the Bastari? Because next turn, you want to go into Gazaris, pop two, and you know do all them plays. So it's either to you have to make sure that. Whatever is still hitting you directly either cannot get over Bastari or Darius, or you wait till the last attack. So you, when your opponent gets that last direct attack in, you special summon this guy, block it, and 
do the plays, etc. But I think that that is actually really good, really good. Uh, I might try this guy. I might just try this guy, you know. Uh, it's been a while since I played Guy or Beast, and I, I mean, I think since he can be such a bullhorn, and, you know, you throw zoos in any, everything, and I need to learn zoos anyway, I might do that. So maybe, potentially, this upcoming Daniel Duels uh, this Sunday, I might play a little bit of the Gladiator Beast thrown in with Zodiacs, thrown in with the, the Gladiator Beast Noxious here, and uh, try it out and actually see. Like I said, there's, you know, reading a card and actually knowing what the card does and the plays, and just on paper, reading its effect, he seems like he's a pretty good Gladiator Beast. He's definitely a Gladiator Beast that I would want to play over the ones that you don't even know your name. Like, I think if, you know, push comes to shove and you know Gladiator Beast and you play Gladiator Beast, Noxious here, he's not going to make you sick. He's going to be one of the Gladiator Beasts to really stand out and be in your deck. So, yeah, that's all. That's my opinion of him. So, tell me what you guys think about Gladiator Beast Noxious in the comment section below. Like I said, I'm not an expert, but I'm an expert. All right. But uh, if there's any Gladiator Beast experts down there in the comment section below, go ahead and tell me what you guys think of him. But I think he's a good card. I think he's a good card. He's borderline there, but I think he's there. I think he's there. So, I mean, if he was level four, whew definitely be there but because he's not and he can only be searched with bullhorns i think he's there though i think he's there so uh tell me what you guys think about noxious in the comment section below so i hope you guys enjoyed this card review so hit that subscribe button if you haven't already hit that like button thank you guys for watching all the support and uh i really do appreciate every single one of you who uh takes the time to check out my videos and you know watch my content all right people thanks for watching